in this video, I am going to add combat health bars to the NPC and player. The idea is that when a fist collides with a player, that player's health is reduced. And if it reaches zero, the game ends and the player loses. If the NPC health reaches zero, then the player wins. The health bars will indicate the current health of each character. So in the content drawer, you want to add a new folder. I'm going to call that UI. So in this UI folder, I'm going to create a user widget blueprint. I'm going to call it BP health bar. Going to double click to open. I want to add a canvas panel to this. So if you click here, um, you Yes, under panel, it's canvas panel. And I then want to add a progress bar. So I'm going to call that, if I press the F2, yes, if I click it and press F2 and call it health value, got it wrong, hang on, can't type. So up here, we want to change that from fill screen to custom. Now, this what looks like a flower is actually an anchor point. So I'm going to stick that in the middle in this drop down. You've got various places you can place it. Now this progress bar, I'm going to make a hundred wide and 10 pixels high. So the progress bars X position should be minus 50 from the anchor and it's Y position minus five from the anchor. It's half the height of the progress bar. So we want it to be positioned in the middle. So these values here, these positions of X and Y are relative to the anchor points. So if I'm going to compile to illustrate the position of the health bar on the canvas, here is a diagram. We've got a health bar, this blue box, and it has been placed on a canvas panel which I am representing with this dash box. We wish to position the bar in the center of this canvas. In the center, we have an anchor point, which I've represented with a star, and we position the bar relative to that. The XY position of GUI elements is usually the top left corner like so. A bar is 100 pixels wide and 10 high. So we need to position its X coordinate minus 50 pixels from the anchor horizontally because we're moving it to the left by half the width of the bar. Similarly, we need to position its Y coordinate minus 5 pixels from the anchor point vertically because we're moving it up by half the height of the bar. This will position the health bar exactly in the center of the canvas. So in the code editor, now I'm using Rider again because I've managed to switch off the inline hints and you can switch them on and off. You can actually have these hints in Visual Studio I've noticed as well. But if we open the build CS file, so we need some extra entries to satisfy the link. We need UMG slate and slate core. I think I need to possibly make this a bit bigger so you can see easier. Now we need to create a C++ class that we're going to inherit this widget from. What we're going to do is to reparent that blueprint we created to a C++ class. So in the uh, C++ folder, we're going to create a new class and we want all classes and we want user widget, isn't it? There we are. I'm going to call this health bar widget. So we've got this health bar widget class. I need a public section, I need a native construct. That will be a function we can call to set the uh, percentage value of the health bar. So this is available, which is a pointer to a U progress bar. And a U progress bar is what we've added in our 
user interface and we're going to bind it to the blueprint so that's what this meta is doing this meta entry it binds the c++ variable to what's in the blueprint and you've got to get this name right you also need this header this components progress bar header so i'm going to implement these functions now I think we need to do anything much in here, do we? But apart from this, what's this uh, sign? Make member function const. Oh, yeah. I think it's because we've got a pointer here. Anyway, I'm going to add a file here. I'm going to call it const.h. Pagma once in it. I'm going to put things in a namespace. The health bar Z constant will position the health bars above the heads of the characters. Now, to avoid code duplication, I'm going to create a parent character class that both the player and NPC inherit from. I am going to place the health bars and health variables in this class so that both characters have health bars. In the next video, we'll also be adding a collision box for the hand that detects when the hand collides with another character. So in Unreal, what we can do is create a new C++ class. I'm going to inherit from character. I'm going to call it CppAI character base. So we've got the header here and uh, we've got these multiple uh, public sections again. I'm just going to get rid of that. In fact, um, a lot of these um, comments are pretty useless. We know what all this stuff does. And in fact, in here, going to clean stuff up so in this header I don't think we need any more header includes but I need some getters and that So these are just getters for the health, the current health, the, ma the maximum health and a way of setting the health. So I'm going to create these. I'm going to write an initializer list and So in this code, if we've got a, a widget component, which was created by this create default sub object, I mean, a lot of people do this in the body, but I tend to do it in the initializer list if I can. If that was successful, then we set up its attachment to the root component of this character. What you normally do, we set the widget space to screen and we then set the relative location to that health bar Z variable. I then use a constructor helper 
to find the blueprint widget, this BP health bar, and that's wrong. You may have noticed that. It's not how you spell health. So this is the path. I believe if we go here, I go there and I, uh, where is it? Copy file path. That will paste it onto the clipboard. If I uh, look at it, it's, well, that's the full path, isn't it? That's wrong. So I picked the wrong thing. It's reference, not path, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Game UI BP health bar. Let's take that out. That's like the sort of engines. How can I put it? It's, it's where it's going to be able to find it. So when you do a packaged build, it will still be able to find it. When it's packaged it, it's a sort of a, I don't know if it's a relative path or, but it's, it's a sort of like a position agnostic way of finding things. If the constructor helper succeeds, then we set up the widget component to what it found. In the tick function, we need code to update the health bar value every frame. Right, um, I'm trying to cast the widget, oops, which is this, because this is a widget component, not an actual widget. And why is that complaining? Uh, can be destroyed during garbage collection. Ah. Uh, that's why I don't like garbage collectors. Just a minute. Do I have to put a U property on it? Let's do that for now. Get rid of that. Unreal Engines garbage collection may come along and wipe it out if you're not careful. So I've done a cast and basically what we're doing is using this component to get its user widget object, what it actually contains, which is a user widget. And then we cast it to because what will that return? That will return a U user widget pointer, which is the parent of our widget. So we get the widget out of the component and cast it to our particular subclass. If that was successful, we can then do set bar value percent uh, health divided by max health isn't it oops so these getters and setters let's have a look these are easy peasy so we return the health get the max health and so that's that for the player character, we've got to change its um, parent, haven't we? So there it is. It's CPP ARG tool character. So now that needs to be CPP tool character base, isn't it? Right, so you need to include this header file for the CPP AI character base and can actually get rid of this Unreal Engine one. If I go to the NPC, we do the same. So if I'm gonna copy and paste that. Right, so Has Rider gone and didn't did it? Um, yeah, it's complaining, so I have to include the header. There it is. I can now get rid of that. So, according to my notes, I can now do a build. So, uh, making sure I've saved everything. I've made a mistake. It doesn't like the fact that it's blueprint read only and private. So I'm going to add an allow private access specifier to the meta part. It 
should possibly make that protected. But I think I'll leave it as it is and just do a build. See what happens. So that was a success. Now this might not work. I might have to re open the, I may have to restart the editor. Oh no, there we are. So we've got these health bars, but for some reason, oh, there's one thing we've got to do, isn't there? So this BP health bar needs to be reparented. So if you open it up and uh, repair it blueprint, <clears throat> And I cannot remember what I called it. Health bar widget, wasn't it? Try again. There we are. Let's do a build, a compile and that and now there we are, they're set to 100% at the moment. So, yeah, that's working quite well. If, the, if you can't see them, then just come out of Unreal and load it again. I did, when I did this first time, for some reason I had a problem, but it should work. So that'll do for this video. The next one, we're going to start implementing the actual combat mechanisms. So I'll see you then.